Sarah, come here. I've got something to talk to you about. Hurry, my time is precious. And I don't even want to waste a single minute on you. Okay, okay. Why do you have to be so rushed? I'm not gonna escape from you. So could you just stop that kind of attitude? It's getting on my nerves. Don't you know that? OMG, I can't believe it. Are you talking against me? Are you angry with me? Your own husband? Holy crap. You've got the nerve to do that once again? And I'll let you bite the dust. Got it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Fine. I understand now. What on earth do you want right now? That's right. That's the attitude I want to see. I just want to ask about Jane. Where is she right now? As usual, she must have been here at home now. Oh, that thing? Well, she told me that she's practicing for her drama at school. And she's got a really important role there. Do you feel happy about that? What? Seriously? You think I should be happy about this? <laughs> All I see is a bunch of nonsense. The school play? Please, it's nothing compared to the importance of our family. You already know the answer, don't you? It's crystal clear. Jane's been taking advantage of your leniency and treating us like dirt. And you know whose fault it is? Yours. You've been too soft on her. And now she thinks she can walk all over us. So you better pick up that phone right this instant and call her back. And while you're at it, make sure my meal is prepared too. Before I lose my temper. Whoa, hold up. What on earth are you talking about? You can't just do that to her. She's your own daughter for crying out loud. Yes, she's my daughter. I pay for all of her tuition. That's precisely why I have every right to intervene and control every aspect of her life. It's all for her own good. Don't you see? I'm just fulfilling my duties as a father. Is that so wrong? Well, yes. It's all thanks to me that she's able to go to university. But no, she doesn't care and thinks she just do whatever she wants. Seems like I need a teacher who teaches her a lesson on who runs this household. Please wait. She's still just a child. Please, I'll tell her. It's all your fault anyway. She goes fooling around with drama, practice, and part-time jobs because you don't discipline her well enough. You really aren't turning out to be a great mother, are you? I'm sorry, really. I will talk with her properly. I'll let her know that she should talk with you about her job. So please don't call her now. Let her finish her rehearsal. Fine. You better tell her though, and make sure she comes to me immediately to discuss her so-called job. Yes, I will. Ah, now I really don't feel like going home, thanks to you. I'm going to go have a drink and then come back. I thought you were going to come home early today. I prepared dinner already. I changed my mind, okay? I won't be needing dinner tonight. Okay, I see. By the way, if you could, please don't be too late. Both Jane and I need to wake up early tomorrow morning. You dare boss me around? It's not up to you to decide when I come back home. I can do whatever I want. I know, but... Don't talk back to me. Yes, okay. Sorry. Hi, Kevin. Are you coming home yet? Why should I tell you whether I'm coming home yet or not? It's my choice, isn't it? Yes. I understand, but today your father and mother are here. They're saying you don't pick up their calls, so they got worried and came by. Ah, uh, they came again? I bet it's nothing important. Handle them for me, would you? Just make them happy. But I think it's about your mother's birthday. It's in two days, right? Every year we throw a party for her birthday together as a family. I think they want to talk about that. Oh, right. Well, we're going to cancel it this year. What? Are you sure? Is that okay? I have other plans on that day. Let my mom know we won't be celebrating her birthday with her this year. But... If I say we won't be celebrating, we're not doing it. Got it? 
Why do we even bother every year? Is it really that fun? If you really want to celebrate it, go celebrate it with her. Just count me out. That would be a bit awkward, don't you think? What? You don't want to celebrate it with her? Even though she's your husband's mother? No, no, no. It's not like that. Are you sure you don't want to celebrate her birthday? Look, I am busy with work that day. Why didn't you just take Jane with you? Both my parents should be satisfied with that. Oh, and find something nice for a present. Don't forget to say it was for me, okay? Okay. Oh, by the way, I'll be going on a business trip on Tuesday and Wednesday. Pack my stuff for me, will you? Yes, okay. Where are you going? I need to go to Shadow. Stupid business trip in such a busy time. They should have asked someone who was less important to go instead. My time is too valuable for this. It seems like you have a lot of business trips recently. Well, you got a problem with that? No, no, no. Not at all. I was just thinking how busy you are recently. Well, yeah. Our business partners are really fond of me, so it's kind of obvious that the company has high hopes for me. Oh, that's great. You guys should thank me. You know, if it wasn't for me and my brilliance at work, you guys wouldn't be able to live such carefree lives. Yes, that's true. Thank you. Seems like you finally understand your place. Yes. Well, anyway, sorry to ask again, but when will you be coming back home tonight? Oh yeah, I won't be coming back home tonight. I'm going to stay in a hotel near the office. I don't want to bump into my parents by accident. You should go get some rest too. I feel really good today. Oh, okay. Understood. I'll head to bed then. Good night. Hey, I just got off the plane. I should be back in like two hours, so make sure dinner's ready by the time I get there. Yes, we'll do it. I hope your trip went well. How was Seattle? Same as ever, just a normal boring business trip. Which is to say, it was boring and a waste of my time. I see. Sorry to hear that. What about you? How was my mom's birthday party? You did it while I was away, right? Yes. We went to dinner and gave her a nice present. Both your mother and father seemed very happy. Great. And I hope you said the present was for me? Yes, of course. She even said she wanted to thank you for it when you get back. She understands you're busy with work, so she just wants you to let her know when you're available. Oh, really? Good to hear she liked my present. But tell her I can't really take the time off from work. Hmm. Come to think of it, they are both getting quite old. You know what? You should go see them more often, for me instead. It seems like they both like you a lot anyway. Plus, that way I can keep them satisfied. Yes, I guess so. I'm really grateful that they're fond of me. The only regrettable thing is that you couldn't give them a grandson. They've both wanted a grandson for so long. Ah. Uh. Well... But I guess I have some share to blame as well, though. <laughs> I mean, your whole body changed after you had Jane. To be honest, you really aren't as attractive as you used to be. So can't really start cooking things up, can we? <laughs> uh, okay. What? Is there something you want to say? No, nothing. Well, anyway, I'll be coming straight back home. So get dinner ready. Okay, I will. Sarah, you stupid cow. You forgot to give my suit to the cleaners, didn't you? What? But you didn't tell me anything about your suit. Do I have to spell out everything? Can't you understand without me telling you? I mean, how many years have you been a housewife? Yes, but I just took your suit to the cleaners last weekend. Shut up! I told you I have a very important meeting this week. How could you possibly not have thought to send my suits to the cleaners? What is wrong with you, dimwit? But you never told me about any meeting. I did. You must have just forgotten. 
Don't make up lame excuses and try to pass off blame for your mistakes. Um, fine. I'm sorry. Ah, now what am I supposed to do? And they're such an important partner as well. Damn it. You think it's okay for your husband to feel embarrassed in front of everyone at work? I told you, I'm sorry. I guess I completely forgot. Do you think sorry, I forgot, is going to help the situation? How are you planning to take responsibility for this? But I think the suit should be okay. It isn't dirty. Are you playing with me? Are you trying to talk back to me? I think you've forgotten your place again. What? I said I was sorry. You know what? I think you're slacking off on the housework. Just because I'm going out on a lot of business trips doesn't mean you can start cutting corners. Come to think of it, I still haven't heard from Jane about her part-time job. But you never followed up about it. Just because I'm not asking about it doesn't mean that I forgot about it. Don't get cocky with me. I don't understand. What do you mean? I didn't do anything. See? You're talking back to me again. Obviously, you've forgotten your place in this house. You're so full of yourself. Because I've been really nice to you lately. What? When did that happen? There it is again. What is with you lately? You're not showing enough respect to me, that's what. Despite the fact that I'm the one who's earning all the money in this household. So you can live such a good life. Kevin, I really am grateful for all the things you do for us. I don't know where you're getting this idea that we don't respect you. I work so hard to take care of you. Don't even try to give me that. I wasn't born yesterday. Jane is the same. She doesn't even bother getting approval from me for her drama club or her stupid job. That's why I don't like girls going to university. It puts a lot of bad ideas into their heads and they run wild. But you're the one who said she should at least graduate from university. I may have said that before, but if she's just going to use it as an opportunity to run around like a little degenerate, then that's it. Tell her she's done. She needs to drop out. I can't do that. She worked so hard to get into this school. It's not up to you to decide. I'm the one who calls all the shots. Got it? Now what? Are you trying to go up against me again? No. Of course not. Well, what is this reluctance? You're obviously going against me. How dare you? I don't know who is the worst influence on her, the school or you. But I'll give you a piece of free advice before you make things any worse for yourself. You're way out of your league, so don't even try. No, I'm not trying to go against you. I just wanted to tell you this. Jane is working because she wants to pay for her own phone, Kevin. I think it's good she's doing this. It's important for her to understand the value of earning one's own money. At the same time, she's also gaining work experience before facing the real world after graduation. And regarding her grades, she's actually studying quite hard. So I think it would be a bit unfair to make her quit school now. I don't remember asking for your opinion. Come on, Kevin. Give her a chance. Fine. Then you make her choose. Either she quits school or she quits her part-time job. Capi? If she can quit one of them, then make her leave the house. And let me warn you, if that happens, then you're out the door right after her. Kevin, please be reasonable. Oh, wait. But you can't leave though, can you? <laughs> because without me, you can't live a decent life because you're both low lives who are dependent on me. So just shut up and listen to what I say. Understand? Oh, yeah. 
By the way, go into my office and take a look in the first drawer on my desk. What? Why? Just do it. Hurry the hell up. Um, are these divorce papers? Yep, you got that right. Now sign the damn document. But why? Because if you ever stand up against me ever again, I'm going to file that document so fast it'll make your head spin. If you can't obey and listen to what I say, you have no need to worry about it. That's quite unfair, don't you think? Just sign the damn paper, okay? Okay, I understand. There we go. Wasn't too hard, was it? Now you won't fool around anymore. Let's see you try and backtalk me again now. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I've had it. Both of you, get your stuff together and leave. What? What's going on? You heard me. Get all your stuff and get the hell out of the house. But why? What's the matter with you? Can you at least tell me why? Because I just filed our divorce papers. Now, neither of you have anything to do with me anymore. You filed the papers? Why? I tried being patient with you this whole month, but I finally realized you're not worthy to be my wife. What are you talking about? As if you're not bad enough. Jane's also taking after you and trying to stand up against me. Just what you would expect from a woman who has gone for some liberal arts degree and poisoned her mind. She isn't cute anymore, like she used to be when she was small. Innocent kid. It's all because of you. Whatever happened to her, it's all your fault. Right. Well, it seems like you're overlooking a few things. <laughs> oh yeah? And what is that? The divorce won't go through as it is. I kind of figured you wouldn't notice. My birth date on the application was wrong. Careless, as always. <laughs> what? You think something like that means anything? You're the one playing stupid tricks. Don't even start. Forcing me to sign the divorce paper against my will and not even making it clear why we're divorcing? Do you really think I would let you get away with that? What the hell do you mean? I demand you explain to me what is going on now. Like I said, the divorce will not go through even if you try and resubmit. It won't go through because I've already submitted a non-acceptance notice. It's not that simple to get divorced, you know? <laughs> okay, so you're that desperate to stay with me? Is that what I'm hearing? How pathetic. <laughs> Whatever gave you that impression? Then what is all this? Why aren't we even having this conversation? I am more than happy to divorce you. But I will only do it when I get what's mine, fair and square. Oh, is that right? And what do you imagine that is? Obviously, I'm talking about my share of our assets. Are you out of your mind? You don't get any share of anything. You useless wench. Who do you even think you are? You're just a goddamn housewife. As a person who can't even make his own dinner without his housewife? I think you are in no place to say anything. Oh, shut up. Do you know what day it was yesterday? I have no damn idea what day it was yesterday. And who cares? It was your daughter's birthday. Her 18th birthday. Oh, sure. Of course, I remember it was her birthday. But what's your point? Is that supposed to be some kind of gotcha? Seems like you're so into this other woman that you even forgot your own daughter's birthday. What are you talking about? You know you should stop acting up like this. What the hell do you mean by into this other woman? I was trying to hold out as long as possible because I couldn't really imagine you paying child support. 
even if the court ordered it. But... But to what? Well, I waited long enough. I actually wanted to divorce you years ago, but I was worried about having to find a job and a house on top of raising Jane. I thought that dealing with you was just my cross to bear to take care of her. But Jane kept on telling me that I don't need to endure this anymore. And she finally got to me and gave me the courage to take action. She said she'll support me no matter what, and we will always have each other. So now, I don't really need you anymore. What? Is this supposed to impress me? What are you even talking about? You're just a damn woman. Seriously? What is with that you're just a woman attitude? How pathetic! You can only act so high and mighty only in this house. Before you go off trying to dominate and abuse everything and everyone, why don't you start worrying about how you're going to live without me? You're nothing better than a man who can't even cook or pack his own bag! <laughs> what the hell are you saying? You really got a lot of nerve, you know that? Ha! <laughs> Look who's talking. Why do you think I was calm and quiet all this time? It seems like you don't understand anything. What did you say? I have been submissive and quiet so as to avoid any major abuse, while collecting evidence of you cheating on me. Well, doing what now? Yes, Kevin. It's all out of the bag. I know you're cheating on me. And I have evidence. I've had it for a while. Since before your mother's birthday, even. I told both your parents about everything, including the cheating and about the constant verbal abuse. I even let them listen to some of the recordings I have of you abusing me. Why, you despicable thing? So that's what you were doing all this time? Come on now. I figured you must have known. I thought that was why you were avoiding your parents so much. Anyway, everyone could tell you didn't care much about any of us, but that made it quite easy. Moving around, getting evidence. It's hilarious how someone with such a huge ego can be so careless. <laughs> careless? Who do you think I am? An arrogant piece of crap who thinks he deserves everything and is the end-all be-all? Or how about a misogynist, cheater, and a lowlife? Take your pick. And don't worry, I've got more. Why you? How dare you? I will make sure to put you back into your place if it's the last thing I ever do. I think I'm done listening to anything you say, actually. I know you love hearing yourself talk, but that's the only thing you're going to have to listen to from now on. What did you say? You heard me. Oh. And just in case you were wondering, your parents are 100% on board with the divorce. What? They seem so sad, but they apologize for raising a child like you. Just so you know. They're planning on keeping you on a pretty tight leash from now on, before you can embarrass them anymore. They don't want to take the risk of seeing others become a victim under your abuse. That's not possible. They can't put me under surveillance. I'm a grown man, not some child. Ah, oh, don't worry. It won't just be your parents keeping you in check. <laughs> Your big brother will also be around as well. As far as I remember, he's basically an expert at surveillance, right? But with all his experience in the military, I think he will take good care of you. Maybe he can teach you some military discipline. Have you been practicing your push-ups? <laughs> How dare you make fun of me? You think I'm afraid of them? It doesn't really matter what I believe. That's all your problem to deal with. If you're not afraid, then good for you. But 
they promised that they would do their best to ensure that you won't come anywhere near me and Jane. Oh, and they're going to assist me with the divorce to make sure Jane and I get our fair share. In your dreams, I won't give you anything. You don't deserve anything. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I guess I will see you in court then. What? You think you can type on your phone angrily like a mad little boy, and that'll be the end of it? <laughs> I won't submit to your aggression anymore. I'm not scared of you one bit. If you're going to fight, let's fight fair and square at the court. Wait, wait. You can't be serious. I assure you, I'm very serious. I sincerely hope that you will be more miserable than I was. Sarah, please. I was in the wrong. Please. We still aren't divorced yet. You can still live with me. It's better for you, right? Yes. Okay, I admit it. It was partially my fault as well, okay? Come on. You should think it over. You think that living with you is better for me? You think that this was only partially your fault? Kevin, you know very well it is 100% your fault. I can't believe how you could even think that you are in a place to suggest that it is good for my own benefit. Even you can't be that delusional? <laughs> you should step down and think about your own actions. See you in court! So, let me fill you in on what's been going on. Jane and I recently made a move to a new place that's conveniently close to her school. Initially, I was thinking we'd live separately, but Jane was adamant about us sticking together and supporting each other until she graduates. And you know what? It's actually been working out great for us. We're living under the same roof, stress-free and happy. As for Kevin, well, things took a different turn for him. He ended up having to move back in with his parents. And from what I've heard, his veteran brother is keeping a close eye on him, constantly breathing down his neck and trying to teach him a thing or two about discipline and respect. I must say, it's quite a sight to imagine. Oh, and let's not forget about the whole asset split situation. When it came down to dividing our belongings, it ended up being a 70-30 split in my favor. I had some solid evidence of Kevin's cheating, and his utter lack of cooperation didn't do him any favors. Plus, those abusive messages he sent to both me and Jane pretty much sealed the deal. It was an open and shut case, I tell ya. But, you know what? Despite all the drama and the legal stuff, Jane and I are truly living a brighter and better life now. It may not be extravagant or over the top, but it's modest and filled with happiness. At the end of the day, that's what matters most to us. We're focused on our own well-being and creating a positive environment for ourselves. And let me tell you, it feels absolutely amazing 